today I'm going to show you how to make my lobster linguine with gorgeous flavours of chilli and tomatoes and white wine and shallots and garlic and fatly parsley. It sounds so posh and maybe it sounds a little bit kind of complex to make but it really is so simple. It's a 15 minute supper. the linguine into the largest saucepan of boiling water that you have and then season it with sea salt. And then what I do is whenever I'm cooking any pasta I stand over it for about two minutes and I keep stirring and that stops the pasta from sticking together. So this is my cooked lobster and I'm going to use the tail. So the best way to prep your lobster when you like that. I like getting it whole because I love seeing the whole lobster. And so you want to lie it out flat like this and then put your knife down the back of its spine. Actually if you're serving it grilled like as a plate on its own with like you know, butter on it and herbs it's really lovely just to serve it like that. I think it looks so beautiful. And you just pick out all that beautiful lobster meat and then just chop it up roughly. So I'm chopping up a couple of shallots very finely and then I'm going to crush some garlic and I'm going to sweat those down in a frying pan with some lovely Kerrygold Irish butter. I'm just crushing up the garlic. Okay, that's my base. And next, over to the stove. So my pasta is ready. I'm just going to drain it all. And I keep back about three tablespoons of the pasta cooking water and that stops the pasta from sticking together. But just give it a little swirl and a toss and a bit of fun. Put a frying pan over a medium heat. Pop in some lovely Kerrygold butter. I'm using unsalted butter because I'm going to add in sea salt and everything into this. So in goes the unsalted butter, nice big chunk, and then I'm putting in my chopped shallots and my crushed garlic. Crush, I'm simmering down the onions and the garlic. Let them cook for about a minute. While they're simmering I can be chopping my flat leaf parsley. I love using flat leaf parsley. Um, it gives gorgeous peppery flavour. You could also use tarragon if you wanted to, or a dill. But this is definitely my herb of choice for this dish. Putting in my white wine. And, then, and next I'm putting in some chili flakes to give it a kick. I've turned up the heat because I want the alcohol to evaporate. But I want all the flavour of the white wine to stay in the pan and get really intense with the garlic and the shallots and the chilli. Then I'm popping in some tinned cherry tomatoes and as I pop them in I'm just crushing them down with my wooden spoon and we make a really nice thick intense sauce. Some lovely sea salt flakes and some black peppercorns. Mix all that together. Because the lobster is cooked already I'm just popping it in now. Some flat leaf parsley to give it that lovely fresh peppery flavour to liven it all up. Then pop your pan that you've got your pasta in over the heat, turn it up a little bit, and then pour your sauce in on top of the pasta with the lobster. And this is kind of like the most important thing when you're making pasta, is that you pour the sauce in on top of the pasta itself before you serve it and mix it all together and warm it through together. So all of the Every strand of pasta is flavoured with the lobster and the tomato and the garlic. And then just pop it onto a warmed plate. This is my perfect 15 minute supper. So easy to make, so packed with delicious flavour. 
and it looks so gorgeous and decadent and kind of special. And just finish it off with some lovely fresh flat leaf parsley. The full recipe is below or pop over to my website to get it. There's so many other gorgeous video recipes over on my playlist so make sure you check them out and subscribe and comment below. I love hearing your feedback and I'm so glad that so many of you are enjoying so many of the dishes from around the world. So there we go, my lobster chili linguine.